Hi everyone, welcome back to our teaser first impressions part two. Um, yeah, this, so this is part two of our uh, our teaser Everblend review um, first impressions on using them. So welcome back to the channel. Hope you enjoyed the first episode, which was just the swatching. Took long enough, didn't it? Um, but yeah, now it's time for us to actually colour the picture. We're colouring from the Halloween special, Colour in Heaven. We're doing um, Maggie. I picked this one. It's a, it's it's not such a busy page hopefully it won't take as long as sometimes when I'm colouring so we'll start with that as always I'm going to start with her face and let's just uh, get colouring so the first colour I'm using for the skin is peaches and cream so it's going down very nicely I need to find my brush just putting a light layer of this on just to see how the skin layers it's very nice I guess I've not planned what colour I'm doing her <coughs> Her hat and dress, yeah. I'll think about that when I have a break. Because um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to film this all in one go because it's going to be massive and I've mm. got other things to do. So, as always, it will be filmed in parts. Nice, looks okay. A nice uh, peaches and cream. I do like the the colour in the Everblend markers as well, but mine didn't last very long. I must. I think I did use it quite a lot though. And it's one you can't buy open stock. You can buy some of the markers open stock, but not that particular colour. Otherwise, I would have ordered a, ordered a pack. I will have to check to see if they have now changed and do have it open stock. I haven't looked for a while. Okay, looks good. Okay, it's looking all right. So nice. it is a nice colour, peaches and cream. It's perfect for. Caucasian light skin and as a base if you want to build it up and slightly off the camera it is very light so you can't see it very well on the camera but it is definitely there but it's just a nice colour to turn it around so I can see what I'm actually doing. Okay. 
Hmm. Yeah, that looks looking good. Excuse me, just hum into myself while I decide what I'm going to use next. These do sharpen very nicely as well, actually. And I'm just using a Stedler one. Um, just one of these uh, small metal ones like that. I've got about eight of them. Well, I've got seven because I gave one to my mum <laughs> so she could drop with her pencils. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to go in with a bit more deeper pink. This is pink macaroon. Just to give her a bit more colour. You don't want too much of this because she'll look really pink, but just a little bit. Okay, um. This one's apricot, which is, yes, it's a bit orange, so again, it's just a little bit we need.
Okay, that's that one. Now we do want a little bit of blush, so I'm just going to have a look for the the right sort of colour. Maybe water. Pink. Mm. I'm going to go with salmon because that's a nice colour. So again, if I can find my uh, sharpener, I'll just give it a sharpener because I do like a good point on them. Like I said, they sharpen beautifully. They do sharpen very, very nicely. I have got to check the time. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so we're just going to just put a little bit of blush uh, with the salmon pink. Just... Yeah. Don't want too much because it will be quite bright pink. Well, that's okay. Up there, up to there. We'll always take a bit out if we need to. She looks a bit red there. But then it doesn't matter, she might have been exerting herself and we're going to blend it all in in a minute anyway. That's that one. And then we'll go back to our peaches and cream now and fill it all in. So we'll see how it looks at the end. I quite like this at the moment. It's looking, uh, I'm quite liking it. So that's a good thing. As long as I like it, that's what matters. If you If you like it, great. If not, post a video of how you do your skin tones because I change every time I do it I try something new I try different colors I try um, different light tones I do need to try and do a darker skin tone it's one of the things I keep shying away from so I'm going to need to have a look at some tutorials because when I want to learn to when I do watch them I'll, I'll go on to YouTube and I will watch a tutorial on how to color a particular thing just to get an idea of what sort of colors to use and then I'll go away and try it myself and if it looks good I'll show it to you and if it looks terrible I, I won't so <laughs> no I would you gotta show the good and the bad because the mistakes help us learn and I've made mistakes I mean this could have been a mistake but I think it's turning out all right you do start learning as you go on which colors will go together well and sometimes like using the salmon on her cheeks and, and apricot you might think well that's not going to go very well because it's a very they're very odd colours, apricot's almost orange but as you can see she doesn't look orange it just helps with a bit of the colouring so. And if I don't like something, I can get my um, eraser out and go over it with um, the I've got to do an electric uh, battery operated razor. I very rarely use it. I'm not going to lie, I very, very rarely use it. And I can take some of that out by literally using um, cream. Just put a bit of cream over the top again will help. Or even white will help but I'm actually liking the way her skin's turning out I mean I, I I need to practice more where I've put her blush I do and I can see that but I am still I'm not thinking oh my god this picture's ruined I need to get the eraser out I'm quite happy with the way it looks at the moment you know she's got a bit of she's got a bit of highlight on her skin down the front and that's my alarm saying, and you must go, I need to just blend this in. We've all got a little bit here where it's raised, that's why I've put that a little bit there.
There we go. Looking all right. So there's her face. It looks lighter on camera. I don't know how it's going to look on your screen, but... I quite like the way that looks. It looks better in person, I think. But um, I'm going to have a think now about what colour to do with her hair and her hat. And I'll be back in a bit. We'll have to decide. Okay, so I'm going to do her hair now. We're going to start on her hair. Obviously, we've done her, her face and her eyebrows, obviously. So I'll just start up here. And I'm going to use cinnamon and sienna brown. Because I love those colours. And we'll just do a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot, but I'm just going to do a little bit. I'll try and do a little bit of all of it. And then uh, I'll go off and I'll finish it off the way I normally do. But yeah, I do like this colour. I think this colour is lovely. So these are very smooth, very nice, no scratchiness at all. I can see why people like them. Like I said, the only issue is they are not available open stock, which is always a, a problem, it's always a shame. Let me just give this one a quick sharpen. Um, I do believe that RTs are looking into making them available open stock, but whether or not they will, I don't know. But, you know what? I think they they work very nice and they're not over overpriced. You know, they're a reasonable price. So. But, yeah, they're very, very soft, very buttery very smooth to go on you know it, it doesn't it's not uncomfortable you know sometimes when you get a scratchy pencil it feels uncomfortable in your hand it, it, it's grating on your you know on you this is it just it just feels so smooth so I'm really impressed with the quality of these pencils Very nice pencils, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm looking forward to trying them out on other papers as well. As you know, when I do my monthly roundup of everything I've ever coloured, I do try and obviously leave, let you know what I've used when I'm uh, showing you the images. So you'll know what else I've coloured with them when I do use them and I probably will try and use them over Christmas in uh, some of the other Christmas books I've got and obviously I do use a lot of markers now but well, I use them a lot but I like I like pencils I, I, I do like using them and I think these will go well over there you know they, these work well with the Arteza Everblends uh, from what I've from what I've seen, I've seen other artists colour over them. Now this is nice paper, but you will get a bit of um, gaps. What I tend to do is if I get a gap, like the little white bits, and I don't want them, I will just use a a blender pencil, a Prismacolor colourless blender. I've got a few of those around. Uh, I'll show you that at the end. when we do the rest. So there's a bit of a hair all nicely done. I'm just going to go put a bit more of this darker colour in and as I get used to the pencils I will get more daring with them. It's, it's like with the Black Widows only now am I really getting daring and, and making the skin colour a lot not not dark dark but a, a darker Caucasian so there we go that's a bit of a hair so I'll just pop uh, cinnamon and burnt sienna back, or well, sienna brown it is actually, and we will, oh god they're all, I will need to get a case of these because they're all rolling everywhere, so 
I'm going to do, I think I'll do her hat and I'm going to do this uh, in a nice blue and a dark blue as well. So I've got two blues out and I've put, pulled out blueberry blue with the, is the dark dark one and sapphire blue. Has the lighter colour and they are really different colour blues so this will be nice to see. Oh. That's the dark one. I want the lighter one first. We'll probably do a blue dress. We'll probably use this on the dress as well. So I will do the dress this colour as well so you won't see me colour the dress. In fact you won't see me anything but other than a head up. The rest of it I'll do because it's just the same things. Again lovely blues. I'm not doing a, you know, I'm not putting a, uh, a lot of pressure on but we're getting a nice lot of pigment it is really really nice these colors are stunning and we got some flowers and stuff afterwards roses and a sunflower Can do this bit here. I think that's a band on her hat. Which I might do a light blue. So we've got the dark blues here. They are lovely colours and they all go well together. They do go well together. If you look at this, it, it does go very, very nicely. <coughs> with with the, um, the two colours, they go very well together. These colours. They do blend and layer very nicely. Like I said, I've got the gaps in between where the tooth of the paper is, but that's fine, I can get. Uh, blender pencil on that if I want to get rid of that. It depends on what it looks like when I've finished the whole picture. Probably won't do a background on this one. I sometimes do, sometimes don't. I'm not feeling a background for this one. If I think of something I could do, I'll let you know if I change my mind. Blend out nicely. Mm. 
Hmm, yeah, I do like these. I'm going to use this very light blue. It's actually called Robin Egg. Oh, that's a nice colour, guys. Robin Egg blue for the band. And uh, then we'll do one of the flowers and then I'll go off and I'll finish the picture. Just so you can see some of them actually working on the paper. I, I, I must admit, yeah. I don't buy things I don't think I'm going to like. So that's why with most first impressions I'm like, oh yeah, I really like this. It's because it's something I've looked at. I've seen what other people have done with it. And I make a decision based on, on that information. And, and that's how I do it. So... Gorgeous blue, isn't it? That is stunning. I think that is a beautiful blue. And how you can change the colour by putting another colour over the top or surrounding it just a little bit just goes to show how you can change it up just a little bit by adding another shade um, I really like these I know a friend of mine bought them for her kids for Christmas last year her kids are quite they're like uh, their eldest is uh, in high school so they, they are older, a lot older than, say, Jennifer. Who, although she does like her Crayola pencils, does prefer to use um, felt pens because of the vibrancy of the colours. And that's totally understandable at her age. They, they love colour. So... So that looks very nice. I'll just pop those away because I don't want to lose them. I'll know which ones I've used because they've been sharpened because the rest of them haven't. Okay, so I'm going to get um, the Noir because I'm going to do the, the Sunflower very quickly. And then that'll be the last bit I do. The Sunflower. And then I'll, I'll go away and... Um, So I'm just going to put a layer of noir. Like that. I'm going to get an orangey yellow. I'm going to get Tuscan Sun. I'm just going to go over the black, over the noir. just to give it that sunflower look because they do have the black seeds in there and then underneath them it's, it is yellow if you have a look so I'll put a bit more sun over the top like that just a little bit just to give it that glow and that's that I'm just gonna have a look at the yellows Now there is a sunflower yellow, 
if I can find it, which is actually next to the Tuscan Sun, which is great. So I'm going to use both of those in this. They're both very similar, sort of yellowy oranges. So we're just going to come around here. I'm just going to go over all the little things there. Over the petals. pretty. These colours are very beautiful colours. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to actually say that as a fact. They are beautiful, beautiful colours. And now we're just going to get this Tuscan Sun. And here, 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 here. Just put some of that at the bottom. Gently now, like that. So that's really nice. These yellows, the yellows are beautiful. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look at how pretty that is. It's just such a lovely colour. Yeah, it's just got a little bit of Tuscan sun in it, just to darken it up at the base. And the rest of it, it's just gorgeous. So, there we are. So that's how she's looking so far. We've we've only done her part of her head, some of her hair, her face. Um, but I'm going to go away and finish this off now using these pencils, and I'll come back and give you a full verdict uh, when I've actually finished it. So, but so far it's all good. Yeah, I'm liking them. I'll uh, be back as soon as I've done it. So I have finally finished the picture with the Arteza 120 Expert pencils. So let's have a look at it. Ta-da! There she is. I'm really quite pleased with her. She looks lovely. Um, yeah, I really like the pencils. They blend well. They're very easy to lay down. They're good colours. I really do like them. I can see me using them a lot, especially uh, with the Everblend markers as a base as well, because you've got the same colours, just one's a pencil and one's a marker. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, um, please give it a thumbs up leave me some nice leave me some comments down below let me know what you think uh, next when I get around to working on it which hopefully will be very soon I will be doing a first impressions of the Arteza 120 expert watercolor pencils which I have now also obtained so as you saw in my uh, haul so I will be doing a, a, a video on those news in those very very soon so I hope you have enjoyed this video I will see you in my next one bye guys Thank <laughs> you.